What's up, YouTube? One new one here. Welcome back to another video. In today's reaction video, we're gonna be reacting reacting to to Little Caesar Pizza Horror Story Animation. And let's continue. A fat man was my least favorite customer. You could smell him come in before you saw him. But well, hold on, he looks like Peter Griffin, to be honest. Oh. Nearly seven feet tall and at least 400 pounds. The guy had a distinct smell. Something like cinnamon and burning hair. I didn't dislike the man because of his appearance or odor, though. No, I hated whenever the customer, Brad, came in because he ate his pizza like he was going to war. Brad would settle his bulk into a corner table, then order our largest deep dish pizza to start. That was his appetizer. He liked to work his way through our hot and ready menu. If a particular item caught his attention that day, he ordered double. His mid-meal break was a triple order of crazy bread, an order of wings, and all of this was washed down with liters of Diet Pepsi. The way Brad ate terrified children and ran off other customers. He hit the pizza harder than the Allies when they stormed Normandy Beach. Globs of sauce and chunks of crust went flying in every direction when Brad chewed. It was like someone set off a hand grenade inside of a lasagna. His shirt, cheeks, and table were splattered each session before he was halfway done. Anyone sitting within a dozen feet of Brad was in danger of being struck by debris. And the sounds he made when he ate. And I still have nightmares about the slurping, chomping, gurgling, moaning sounds. Suffice to say, no one ever wanted to wait on Brad when he visited our Little Caesars. So, as the manager, that duty usually fell on to me. We tolerated Brad scaring away our other customers because there really wasn't a legal reason to ban him. That is, until one morning in January, when Brad waddled into the restaurant holding a small cooler, took his usual Yup. What? That's illegal. You cannot bring coolers or toppings into the restaurant. God dang. In the corner and ordered every cheese pizza that we had in the kitchen. Brad, I think we've got about 80 pizzas cooling back there. I told him, how many do you actually want? 80 is a good start, but... Okay, there, there is no way that he can eat 80 pizzas. Like, that's impossible. You'll need to keep them coming. I have an appetite today. What's in the cooler? Brad grinned. His teeth were awful. Just some toppings I brought from home. We don't really allow that. Do I need to register a complaint with Little Caesar's main offices again? I sighed. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Just don't make a mess. Brad lifted his cooler onto the table and started poking around. Yo. He needs to learn the rules that there is no cooler though allowed in from home from, to the Little Caesars restaurant. Like, you cannot bring homemade coolers. Round inside while I walked back to the kitchen to give them his order. When I returned with Brad's Diet Pepsi and first pizza, I nearly gagged when the smell from his cooler hit me. Inside of the box were dozens of plastic baggies arranged around a few ice packs. The baggies were smeared with a thick pinkish fluid and contained great chunks of what I had to assume was meat. Whatever it was reeked like it was spoiled. You can't eat that, I said, setting Brad's order on his table. The food in your cooler has gone bad. Brad just smiled and popped one of the gray blobs into his mouth, then licked the pink fluid from his chin. I retreated before my stomach betrayed me. The rest of the staff and I barricaded ourselves in the kitchen as well as we could. Every few minutes, I would run another pizza out like I was charging across a battlefield dodging cannon fire. Brad's rotten toppings and wood chipper eating style scared away most of the customers immediately. 
One brave family tried to stick it out, sitting at the opposite end of the room. But Brad ended up choking on a slice of pizza and coughing it up. The wad of dough and phlegm shot all over the tables and splattered the family. Brad started laughing, spraying more food. That was too much. I stormed over to Brad's table as the family left in disgust. That's it. You're banned from Little Caesars, I shouted. Brad just continued to munch. Yo, that was a great idea, but he is still eating. Like, makes sense. Well, I haven't finished. Finish up then. Eat as much as you want and more. But after you leave today, you're banned permanently. Brad shrugged and thrust his empty glass at me. Refill. The big man continued to eat for hours. I'd never seen him tear through pizza, wings, and crazy bread like he did that day. At one point, he slouched over, and I thought he was finally done. But then, he popped up and beckoned me over with one swollen hand. I didn't know how Brad could possibly keep eating, the butt- Well, at least, at least you're making more money. But- there ain't like no way he can just eat a lot of pizzas. Like, who does that? Like, really? Who does that? He said pop from his shirt, and his belly spilled over his legs. I want to try some of my toppings warm, he said, nodding towards one of the disgusting baggies. Toss those in the microwave for me. Absolutely not. If you do, I promise I'll leave here in the next hour. I pulled my shirt over my nose and tried to defend against the stench and gingerly picked up the baggie with a napkin. I hurried back to the kitchen, poured out the vile gunk into a bowl, and put it in the microwave. The odor was overwhelming, and I knew we'd need to air out the kitchen for days to get rid of it. I immediately regretted listening to Brad's request. Maybe it was time to call the cops and have him tossed out. More! I heard him yell from the dining room, stack them high, and I need a refill. Since I was watching the microwave, my assistant manager Bianca was the one who had to run out the next tower of pizzas and a two liter. The microwave beeped and I extracted the foul contents. When the steam cleared, I nearly dropped the bowl. Not because it was hot, but because outside of the little baggies, I could finally get a clear look at the toppings Brad had brought from home. Most were unrecognizable lumps of That's pink brown, an Ariel. but one object was unmistakably, like, undeniably the bottom people. half of a human ear. I placed the bowl on the counter, my face cold with shock. Before I could decide how to react, there was a shriek from the dining room. I made it to the kitchen door just as Bianca came running inside, clutching her arm. At first, I thought she'd gotten pizza sauce all over her hand. There was so much red. Then, I realized all of her fingers on her left hand. Yeah, this hot. It's hot. What's for dinner, Dad? Oh, no, I'm trying. And so why are you... I'm going to argue with her. Thank you, Lisa. Check. My teeth. Yeah. What? Yes. That right there. Can you start it? Um, yeah. Except for her index and thumb were gone. Nothing but raw stumps. He bit me! Bianca screamed. I tried to put the pizzas down for him and that monster snapped. I heard the sound of falling tables and a loud crash. Not one part of me wanted to go look, but I was the manager. The staff at Little Caesars were counting on me. Wrap Bianca's hand in a towel and keep pressure on it. I instructed one of the cooks. You, call 911, I said to another. We need an ambulance and the police. I took a breath and walked out to the dining room to find hey, Brad on the floor. He'd fallen from his chair and knocked the contents so of his table everywhere. 
He had half of a piece in his mouth, his jaws trembling as he chewed, and he was crawling towards another pile of slices. What did he say? What did he say? Ask me. Ask me. another pile of slices. You gotta say, Daddy, can you please open? What did you do? You want me to stop starting now? What is wrong with you? Brad Dad, spit out the pizza long enough to laugh. <laughs> she wouldn't have gotten so close to my food. You don't yes, mess with a man's food. My food. Where are my toppings? What are they? Friends and family. I've been saving them up for a while. For something special. Brad Army crawled on his elbows, dragging his descendant. That is gut real, I'm in the reaction house. video, right? He made it to a nearby pile of pizza and began devouring it. His whole body looked swollen as a blood drunk tick. The police are on their way, Brad. He nodded and started eating faster. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The man shoveled food into his jaw, swallowing without chewing. I couldn't help but stare. Once all the pizza was gone, Brad laid on his belly, licking his fingers. More, he demanded. No. More. For someone that oh big, my God. Brad crawled fast. He came at me, pulling his bulk along with his bloody fingernails. I ran, tipping over a table and crashing to the floor. There was a tug at my foot. Brad had a hand wrapped around my ankle. He dragged me towards him, and I reacted on reflex, kicking out. My shoe connected a crack, and Brad jerked away. His nose bent at an un... Dang, you broke his nose. Natural angle. I said more, he growled, leaning on a table to stand up. But the table couldn't take his weight. The stand cracked when he was half. Your phone made noise, Dad. Okay. 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 Way standing, and Brad slammed into the floor, gut first. There was a horrible ripping sound, and I saw Brad's eyes go blank. He tried to rise again, but something was wrong. When he got to his hands and knees, it became clear that his body had finally oh, burst dang. from the pressure and the force of the fall. His stomach had a tear right around the belly button. Purple intestines and undigested pizza all spilled out into a wet pile on the floor. So hungry, Brad whispered before collapsing. They had to bring in a professional disaster cleanup crew to dispose of the body and mop up the mess. We had to close the restaurant for 48 hours. To this day, Brad's last meal remains the second or third worst shift I've ever had managing at Little Caesars. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to me right now. And I'll see you all next time.